Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to another Match Day Live episode and yes, England are in the World Cup still. It is the semi-finals as you may know. Uh, yesterday, France played against Belgium in the other semi-final. France won that 1-1 goal to nil but tonight is the big one for us. It is Croatia taking on England. Now, Croatia have had a fantastic um, tournament so far. They actually won their group, didn't even lose a game, didn't even drop a point actually. And I think they only conceded one goal throughout their group stage. Um, the knockout stages have not been... Um, as plain sailing for Croatia though, they did beat Denmark in the first knockout round on penalties, three goals to two I think it was on penalties, and then again in the quarterfinals they knocked out the, the host Russia 2-2 after the full 120 minutes and then 4-3 on penalties, so Croatia gone to penalties in the last two games, hopefully it doesn't go to penalties tonight. And we did win ourselves a penalty shootout in the first knockout round against Colombia, as you may remember. But then we did go on and beat Sweden two goals to nil. So you have to say that England have got to be the favourites going into this game. And we are playing good football. Croatia also playing good football. And very good defensively as well. But hopefully England can do the job. As you can see, we've already got ourselves an early goal in this game. Raheem Sterling getting his first goal. Um, he has been missing quite a few chances, but his work rate has been absolutely fantastic. He's running into the spaces where we need um, gaps to open up and hopefully he does grab himself his first goal tonight. I would love to see Raheem Sterling score today, uh, but maybe he's waiting for the final to get his first goal of the tournament. Uh, England pushing through here, looking for a second. Is it going to come? It is indeed. Jesse Lingard, he runs through to score yet again. Uh, he did score a cracker in the group stages, as you may remember, just outside the area, finessed into the top corner. And this one, nicely played through there from Raheem Sterling. And there we go, second goal of the game for England. As I said, we've got to be the favourites, and then it's going to be a tough game in the final against France, whether we make it or not. Uh, but if we don't make it tonight, if we do lose against Croatia, we still have the third place playoff. So there will be another Match Day Lab episode um, at the weekend. If it's if it's the final, it will be on the Sunday, of course. And then if it's um, the third place playoff, it will be played on the Saturday against Belgium. So it could be a repeat um, between England and Belgium. Remember, Belgium did win uh, one goal to nil in the group stage game. Wasn't really playing for much in that one. Uh, I guess it was just for top spot. Um, so Belgium did win it maybe England can go out and end the competition with a victory and revenge against them but you never know we could be playing for a more important title and that is the World Cup trophy of course against France which of course is going to be a tough game nevertheless France been playing absolutely fantastic they were one of my favourites going into the tournament at the start and Mbappe is really shining he did, had a fantastic game last night uh, for France so he'll be looking to make a name for himself if he hasn't already done so in the final and as you can see, we are looking good in this game. Looks like we are going to wrap this one up. And we're already leading by two goals to nil. And we are approaching the half-time interval. Uh, Luka Modric did have a chance late on there in the first half. Wasn't on target though. Uh, but if anybody's going to be the danger man, it is going to be Luka Modric for Croatia. We've got to watch out for him. Play our own game though. Don't want to worry too much about any individuals in the Croatian side. Uh, but if anybody is going to cause us trouble, it probably will be Luka Modric. Free kick here for England, swung in straight towards Harry Kane who volleys it into the back of the net and what a fantastic finish that is. Just over 20 minutes to play in this World Cup semi-finals in Russia. It is Croatia 0, England 3 and if we can have a fantastic result like this, I'll be very, very happy and no doubt the rest of England will as well. He'll give us good conf confidence going into the final as well against France. If we can score a bunch of goals tonight, uh, the players will be very, very hyped up for the next game. Uh, but there is Harry Kane scoring his first goal in today's match. And let's see if there's going to be any more. Just under 20 minutes remaining. Croatia running out of time. Well, that's a nice ball. Great save from Jordan Pickford. And again, a fantastic save from the England young goalkeeper. He's had a cracking tournament so far. And no doubt his valuation has skyrocketed since the start of this World Cup. Croatia then. With a corner, need to get this one clear, which we do. And here is Rashford then for England. Plays it through, and the defence have left him go straight all the way. And it is Harry Kane to score his second of the game. And less than 15 minutes gone, Harry Kane scores his second, and surely that's going to make um, him be the the Golden Boot winner as well with two goals in today's game. 
is already running away with it. Hopefully he can get that wrapped up uh, before the final. But there we go. Harry Kane scores his second of today's match. England's fourth. Croatia nil, England four, and that will wrap up the game as well. That guarantees England a place in the World Cup final, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. The country really has you united. Uh, is it really coming home, but guys, is it really coming home? I hope so. Uh, we've not seen it in my lifetime, of course. But here is Harry Kane looking for his hat trick straight into the goalkeeper. So it is going to be one last attack here for England from the corner spot. Uh, come on boys, get it on target, just cleared away there and surely that is going to be the last touch of the game. England, they progress into the World Cup final here in Russia 2018. A fantastic performance that we managed to do on FIFA 18. Uh, but can the real players replicate that in the tonight's game? Hopefully, I'll be watching it, of course, with my son, making memories. Absolutely fantastic. One of my football first football memories was the semi-final of the 1990 um, World Cup where England got knocked out and we missed a couple of penalties as well. Hopefully this one doesn't go down to penalty shootout. We want to get this one done in 90 minutes so we're fresh for the final. Uh, but thanks for watching guys. Let me know who you think is going to win and I'll see you in the next one.